Well, greetings everyone from around the world, Perry Stone, and I have my sidekick with me here. Not really, this is my wonderful daughter, Amanda, and she's uh, in ministry and works with uh, Karen Wheaton's ministry. I'm praying one day she'll come and work with Perry Stone's <laughs> ministry, but if that's not what God has for her, I'm happy. I've told you that, haven't I? I'm happy with whatever the Lord has. So I wanted to show her something here that is interesting. Now, first of all, you need to know that this is not the original. This is a, re a replica, but it's an exact copy. The way it's cut out, the way it's shaped, and the Hebrew writing on it is a copy or replica of what was actually found here. When they were, uh, just look at this. This shows you the rubble. As they're excavating this area, this was broken off from the top wall. Now, not the wall you're looking at now, which I keep telling people that when they've watched our videos, the top wall goes back to the Turkish time, which the Turks were here in 1517. They started rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. These are Herodian walls. So this was here in the time of Christ. And this was the place of trumpeting. So what happened was this was at the top of the wall, and it was inscribed the place of trumpeting. So what would happen is they would to announce the Sabbath, and the Sabbath begins on Friday at, uh, at, at sunset. And of course, they didn't have a, a watch back there to say, oh my goodness, one minute till Shabbat, you know. But they would announce the Sabbath had begun with the blowing of trumpets. And so they would stand up here, they would stand, and, and Charlie, if you want to lean that camera back, because this is actually a pinnacle of the temple. When, when, when Satan tempted Jesus, he told him to jump from the pinnacle of the temple and this was a pinnacle it was where two corners meet and you can see how high that is and i think what he was actually doing amanda was saying to jesus commit suicide he was trying to get him to kill himself not not that jesus was depressed to kill himself but i'm saying oh jump the angels will pick you up yeah right you know and jesus was not going to jump for the devil that's a message stop jumping for the devil I'm always, I'm always coming up with something, you know, the revelator here. Hey, hey, so anyway, I wanted to show you this because there are many discoveries in stone, many discoveries in, in, in rock that you will find that when you go through the Holy Land, they'll excavate something. And one of the most amazing ones, I, I just thought this was totally, totally amazing, was that uh, they were excavating a certain area. And Yossi told us about this, and I thought, this is so cool. And the cameraman, this is years ago, went to set his tripod down to take a picture of the last day of excavation. You know, the group was together and they've been excavating this area in the, in the Galilee area. And the camera was sitting crooked and there was a stone that was like this protruding up. So instead of him moving the tripod, he just grabbed the stone and started pu pushing it up. When he flipped it over, it had old writing on it. And it was the stone that's became very world famous. It's in the museum that has the house of David mentioned on it. And the only, it's crazy, the only actual evidence like tangible found in excavation with a, on a stone, the house of David. And so thank you for joining me on our Perry Stone YouTube channel. We have a lot of subscribers and I appreciate, let me tell you what I like about our subscribers. They're not all, you know, not everybody that subscribes believe, believes the way I would believe theologically or doesn't necessarily mean they agree with everything, you know, you teach or say, but they like the information and they like to study that and research it. And we do have a lot of wonderful people Many of you are friends of our ministry, and we appreciate that so much. And I do want to say to you, part of what I do, and, and just, just stay with me for a moment, part of what I do is the Hebrew roots of our Christian faith, Jewish history, uh, uh, history, history from the Middle East, history from the Holy Land. We're building a relic museum. A lot of people know about that with Holy Land relics. But I... I want to be a, a, a I got to be careful. I started to say I want to be a crossover person. No, I don't. That, that's going to be taken wrong. But I want to be a minister that is more interfaith, if that makes sense. In other words, I don't want to be connected just to one group because we have people from about seven different denominations that come to our meetings and attend. So I want you to know that whatever background you are, whatever even religious faith you have, we hope you'll continue to watch it because there'll be something one day that will lead you to a deeper knowledge of the Bible, or Scripture, a deeper knowledge of, of history, uh, and, and, a, and a covenant relationship with the Lord, which is really why we're here and why I do what I do for, uh, for many, many years, is to lead people into a covenant relationship of a covenant with the Almighty God through the Messiah. 
Thank you for joining me. I've got to quit rum, uh, rambling because she's hungry. I can tell by looking at her. I've known her for, since she was born. So I love you, Amanda. You're love the best. You. You're the best. Thank, Thank you. you for just standing beside me. I just brought you here to make me look good. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. It's time to learn what you don't know about your future. Now available is Perry Stone's new landmark prophetic book, Your Journey into Eternity, Life for the Next Thousand Years. Discover what occurs the moment your inner eyes are opened at death and your spirit returns to God. Journey through the three levels of heaven, including paradise where Christian martyrs rest. Learn about the new body you will receive at Christ's return or at the resurrection and why the dead at times appear in dreams and what memories you have after death. Learn about the marriage supper in heaven from a Hebraic perspective and what the Bible teaches about the new heaven, new earth, and new Jerusalem coming down. Perry unlocks the mystery of babies in heaven, including miscarried and aborted infants. Perry also explains what our thousand-year reign with Christ will look like on earth. Read Perry's parabolic revelation about what if God said yes to the dead? Will your family circle be unbroken in eternity? Perry presents often untaught insights using his 46 years of in-depth biblical research from the Old and New Testaments. The book includes incredible Greek and Hebrew word studies, as well as amazing stories that reveal secrets of life after death, events in heaven, and life on the new earth. Perry is also including an audio teaching, The Temple of the Tabernacle of the Testimony, that his friends say is the most interesting biblical teaching from the book of Revelation he has ever taught. In this teaching, Perry shares secrets in heaven's temple, the most important building in heaven where all human records and tribulation judgment files are kept. It is here where you will stand at the judgment seat before Christ's throne and give a face-to-face -face account of what the angels have written about you from birth to death, including all your idle words and how you treated others. This is a teaching that will alert you to what you say and cause you to guard your words and actions. The landmark new book and two-hour audio teaching is available for your gift of just $35 or more to help keep Manifest on the air around the world. To order this offer, visit perrystone.org or call toll-free 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. You can also order by sending $35 to Perry Stone Ministries. P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320, and request offer ET143 when ordering. We look forward to hearing from you soon. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perry Stone Ministries resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.